Another day, another story. Hi everyone. In today's video, we'll be talking about avocados and their effects on human health. Avocado is a popular superfood known for its creamy texture and rich flavor. It's often added to salads, sandwiches, and even smoothies. But, is eating avocado good or bad for you? Let's find out. The good. Avocados are a great source of healthy fats, fiber, vitamins, and minerals. They contain monounsaturated fatty acids, which are beneficial for heart health. Avocados are also a good source of potassium, which helps regulate blood pressure, and vitamin K, which helps with blood clotting. Avocados are also a good source of antioxidants, which help protect the body against damage from free radicals. They contain lutein, a compound that is important for eye health, and vitamin E, which helps keep skin healthy. Additionally, avocados are a good source of fiber, which helps regulate digestion and can help keep you feeling full for longer. The bad. While avocados have many health benefits, they also have some downsides. Avocados are high in calories, with one medium avocado containing around 250 calories. This means that if you're trying to lose weight, you need to be careful about how much avocado you eat. Additionally, avocados are high in fat, which can be a problem for those with high cholesterol levels. Avocados are also high in fat, and the majority of this fat is in the form of oleic acid, which is a monounsaturated fat. While monounsaturated fats are generally considered to be healthy, it's important to remember that avocados are still high in fat, and consuming too much can contribute to weight gain. Additionally, avocados are often used in high-calorie dishes, such as guacamole or avocado toast, which can add quickly in terms of calories. Allergies For some people, eating avocados can also cause an allergic reaction. Symptoms can include itching, hives, and even anaphylaxis, a severe and life-threatening reaction. If you suspect you may have an allergy to avocados, it's important to talk to your doctor to get tested. Storage and Preparation Avocados are best stored at room temperature and should only be refrigerated once they are ripe. To tell if an avocado is ripe, you can gently squeeze it. If it yields to gentle pressure, it's ready to eat. If it's too hard, it's not ripe yet. If it's mushy, it's overripe. When it comes to preparation, avocados can be sliced, diced, mashed, or pureed. They can be added to smoothies, sandwiches, and salads, or used as a substitute for mayonnaise or butter. Sustainability Avocados are often criticized for their impact on the environment, as they are often grown in areas where water is scarce, and the demand for avocados can contribute to deforestation. Additionally, the transportation of avocados from countries such as Mexico to other parts of the world can result in a large carbon footprint. If you're concerned about the sustainability of avocados, look for avocados that are locally grown and certified as organic. Incorporating avocados into your diet. Avocados can be a great addition to a healthy diet, but it's important to consume them in moderation. A good serving size is one quarter to half of an avocado per day. If you're watching your calorie intake, you can limit your serving size, or try incorporating avocado into your diet in other ways, such as by using it as a substitute for mayonnaise or butter. The Verdict Overall, avocados are a nutritious food that can be a great addition to a healthy diet. However, it's important to remember that everything in moderation is key. If you're trying to lose weight or have high cholesterol levels, it's best to limit your avocado intake. Conclusion in conclusion, avocados can be a nutritious and delicious addition to a balanced diet. However, it's important to remember that avocados are high in calories and fat, so it's best to consume them in moderation. If you have high cholesterol levels, are trying to lose weight, or have a history of allergies, it's important to talk to your doctor before incorporating avocados into your diet. And that's it for today's video on avocados and their effects on human health. I hope you found this information helpful. Remember, it's important to always consult with a healthcare professional before making any changes to your diet. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.